welcome to stb exam forum as promised uh, we have come up with part 5 of previous year questions okay so the disclaimer i want to give all these questions are memory based and collected from the various sources uh, or the students feedback and whatever the questions we are presenting they are uh, taken from 17 december 2018 morning and evening shift okay this is basically septum 9 okay so let's see uh, the questions the first question that was asked on that day was what is the unit of relative density student uh, it is very easy one but student generally choose option c uh, based on the formula of density mass upon volume but this is incorrect why because they have used the term relativity whenever the term relativity comes it means there is no unit okay right so the correction correct answer is it has no unit coming to the next question uh, which one indicate hypertension okay uh, we are under hypertension but uh, what is the correct figure for that okay so you can see the normal one is 120 by 90 but here uh, option a is only greater than 120 uh, so option a that is 140 by 100 is the correct answer okay so the correct option is option a 140 by 100 coming to the next question uh, it is from chemistry nuclei having same number of protons but different number of electrons are called what Uh, this is very simple uh, the correct answer is isotopes okay isotopes uh, have same atomic number but different mass number same atomic number means they have same number of proton uh, different mass number means they must have different neutrons in it okay so the correct answer is option c isotopes okay coming to the next question the weight of a body is 120 newton on earth okay this is from physics uh, this is numerical one okay okay the weight of body is 120 newton on earth if it is taken to the moon its weight and mass will be what okay so let's see the solution directly uh, this is solution uh, so what we need to find out weight and mass on the moon okay so first thing you need to understand uh, that mass is constant okay right student mass is constant but if it is taken to another uh, planet or another moon there will be relationship between gravity the relation between earth and moon is 1 by 6 we know so the mass will be how much divided by 6 right so 120 newtons uh, mass will be 1 by 6th of it that is 20 newton so we have only option c uh, it is 20 newton let us see the another one why how 12 kg has come uh, let's see as we know uh, value of g is 10 so if we convert into weight from newton it will come into 12 kg you can have this slide and go through okay coming to the next question uh, this is uh, general awareness i guess what is the full form of gslv okay this is very simple one but very tricky is sometime you must know that slv means satellite launch vehicle okay slv means satellite launch vehicle so these is geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle not geostationary okay so the correct answer is option b if they ask pslv it means polar satellite launch vehicle if we ask aslv augmented launch satellite vehicle okay okay fine students the, so the correct answer is geostationary satellite launch vehicle coming to the next question and the, this is from the missile part what is the maximum range of uh, nuclear capable prithvi 2 missile okay so prithvi 2 is very uh, classic one okay so its range is 350 km 
कमिंग टू द बायोलॉजी पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वेयर डज प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस टेक प्लेस स्टूडेंट दिस इज समवट डूअल आंसर आई कैन से बोथ ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी आर करेक्ट एज यू नो दैट प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस टेक प्लेस इन एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वेयर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वेयर राइबोसोम आर प्रेजेंट एंड राइबोसोम्स आर प्राइमरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फोटोस प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस ओके बट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज ऑल्सो राइबोजोम इन इट सो इट ऑल्सो टेक पार्ट इन प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस बट इन सच केस यू शुड ऑलवेज चूज राइबोजोम बिकॉज राइबोजोम इज अ प्राइमरी प्लेस वेयर प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस टेक प्लेस ओके सो दिस इज अ करेक्ट आंसर राइबोजोम्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन द यूनिट वन या unit of the power is what this is very 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 simple and uh, the correct answer is option c joule per second okay option a joule joule is the unit of energy uh what is the uh, unit of power oh sorry sorry option b is also the unit of power power it is what joule per second so the correct answer is option d okay i repeat the correct answer is option d both b and c unit of power is both watt and joule per second right student coming to the next one uh, sum of potential and kinetic energy this is again very simple as you know this is mechanical energy okay so the last one uh, for this part it is from biology the chemical name of vitamin b1 is what this is a very tricky one you can do the elimination method let's see option b ascorbic acid you can easily eliminate how because this is vit vitamin c okay so we are have uh, option a b a c and d and uh, let's see what will be the correct answer so, uh, so the correct answer will be thymine okay so these are the vitamin chemical name you can see thymine is vitamin b1 if they ask uh, vitamin b5 what is niacin okay and vitamin b12 is also common uh, that's cyanocobalamin co wherever you find i mean this these are basically vitamin b okay that's all student i hope you like this video uh, we will come with the next part soon and one more thing uh, whatever the question i am presenting those uh, we have collected long year back but on the demand of students we are presenting this okay thank you have a nice day